Well, now we've got the mixer, the stand mixer going, and we're going to show you how to make a wonderful frosting for a beautiful cake. Now, everybody, when you walked in with this, asked, is this gluten-free? And you actually said, yes, it yes, is. Yes, it is gluten-free. So today I went a little bit out of my box, um, but I do have some friends that are gluten-free. Um, and so I obviously was trying to incorporate some recipes that I could serve them dessert as well. Um, so I found one, kind of tweaked it, of course, mm -hmm. um, and then ran it by them to make sure, okay, everything I'm putting in here is gluten-free, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems to be the new buzzword is gluten-free. So what makes the cake gluten-free? So the gluten-free, it has no flour, which a lot of people are like, how in the world do you make a cake? Or in this sense, we also we made did cupcakes as well. We yeah. did do cupcakes <laughs> as well. Um, and so instead of the flour, cocoa powder is used. Oh. Um, and so that's what gives it the thickness. It also is very chocolatey. So sometimes if a person is used to a chocolate cake that has flour and you bite into this, they're going to like, Oh, that's that's very very powerful. Very delicious. <laughs> so yeah. So you're gonna make the the mint frosting for this because that chocolate and mint go together so well. It does. It does go well, and we're using Andy's mints mm -hmm. is um, one of the key ones. So as um, always, and again, same thing. This is gluten free as well. Um, so everything that goes on this cake, um, along with the cupcakes too, is all gluten free. We just start up. So okay. So where do we start? Starting with our butter, of course. Um, so, so that that wants to be room temperature. Room temperature. Not melted. Not melted. <laughs> <laughs> room temperature, and then um, uh, so, no salt as well okay. um, for this one as well. So we have about a cup and a half of butter um, for that in here, and then um, we'll take that down some. We're going to put a little bit of heavy cream inside of it. Mm -hmm. That will give it a little bit of thickness. Now this is an icing, um, but it's this one's a little bit more fluffier because it's a filler. Right. Um, so, it, say inside the cake, um, it will have that, that mint um, filler inside there. So, it is a little bit more fluffier than you would have a, a normal icing. Okay. I before. notice you have a lot of confectioner sugar. We do, we do. <laughs> um, and so, we do have the confectioner sugar. Now, along with this, we'll also have um, our mint extract, and that's what's going to give it the ah, flavor. Give it the flavor. Um, for that. Because so, the chocolate candy is not going to do it all. For absolutely us. not. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll pour that in there. And then oh, I can smell it. You can yeah. smell it. Yep, yeah. absolutely. Um, and then just at the end, we'll put a little bit of those in there. So we will start our sh powdered sugar. And this is um, scraping down the sides is such an important thing to do because you want everything to be mixed in together. Yes. And a lot of times, what happens is because the butter is room temperature, but once it gets into the mixer, a lot of times it just immediately goes straight to the sides. And then when you start putting in this powdered sugar, obviously it's. I'm going to stick to the side right. instead of going to it. So how many cups do you have going here? So we have um, six cups of powdered sugar. So <laughs> it is a lot of powdered sugar that goes like into you this said, recipe. you want a thick filling in the middle. It is. And so if you want a thinner one, again, you can make this as thin as thick as you as you would like to mm -hmm. um, for it. And then what I do with that is I do alternate it with a little bit more of the cream. So okay. again, the wet and the dry, and that just helps it so that it um, doesn't stick to the side. And as we've talked about before, the way you put things together is so important when you're baking because baking is chemistry. It is chemistry, um, and a lot of people, what ends up happening, again, time after time, they're like, I saw you do it, I, I downloaded the recipe, you know, I, I used everything that you used. <laughs> um, but but it, did you follow the instructions? It, it didn't come out, you know, and so a lot of times that is. You know, if it's something to where it says, you know, put the flour in with the salt, you know, baking powder, whatever, mix that together. Sometimes some of them are sifting, and if you don't sift it, it's not going to come out right. <laughs> That's why you have to follow baking directions. Yes. Cooking is a little bit more, you know, you can throw a little bit of this and that, but baking is a little bit more uh, precise. It is, and then also what happens is with cooking, um, for instance, like with the potato cakes this morning, you know, you can just throw bacon in there or you can throw chives in there, whatever you want to make, mm -hmm. and it's not really going to change the recipe per se that much. Right. When you're going into baking, if you're putting more wet in there versus the dry that you had, mm -hmm. then of course you're going to um, come out to where it is going to give that difference right. um, of what it is. And I, I was going to cut the cake and I asked Absolutely. you if you brought a knife and you didn't, but yeah, you know, so you've got a nice sharp edge fork here Absolutely. that I can do the same <laughs> thing with. You know, you become inventive. We do, we do. This is a nice thick cake And too. I'll move this one this way <laughs> and then that way we can Take a big slice out of there. If 
I can do this. That's all right. <laughs> I think we can. And then um, from this, oh, it's all right. My little Let's Andy's see. mints on the other side are falling off. Do you have off. a cardboard on the, under here? I do have it. Let's oh, see. let's grab okay. this. <laughs> We're going to grab it together. So you hold that side, hold that. and I'm getting this one. <laughs> We are making a mess, but it's That's a good right. chocolate mess. There we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Because, like you said, you got that nice and thick inside. Yes. And so, again, what, what ends up happening is um, the chocolate inside is really thick for that. Um, and it's because of the gluten-free. And quickly tell us, what's the next step in that? We've so got the like next step, 15 um, seconds. You can add a little bit of green food coloring to that if you like. I'm not a big person on that. Uh -huh. Again, mint is not <laughs> normally green. Um, but you can, it will add that. And then of course a little bit of Andy's mints. Mm -hmm. Take it out. Again, you can make cupcakes with it. Um, or you can make the cakes as We're well. We're going to keep frosting. You're going to leave yeah, us the absolutely. recipe. We'll put it online, uh, wtbr.com slash vtm, and you too can make this beautiful chocolate mint cake. And this is gluten-free, gluten so we'll do the gluten-free recipe sure as well. Make sure gluten-free. All right. <laughs>